furnace humidifier and dehumidifiers clean. This is a typical size of most uh, humidifiers. April Air is the system that we have set up. Um, in this system, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna have Brian take a look at this. This is after one year use. What can happen to your humidifier filter? They get calcified, they get really heavy. Uh, they should never feel this dense. This, this weighs about four pounds. Uh, it should never get that heavy, and that's not even wet, that's dry. So that tells you how much calcium is coming through our water systems and spraying into these filters before it hits our air uh, to humidify it in the winter. So these are systems only used in the winter. Typically when you do this, your systems are all placed um, here. Your release tab is always on the bottom. So when you pull it out, there's tabs on the top. And then these all are, you, are plugged in. So for most of these, you can let these just hang. And then the system just hangs here. How this all works together is that this is connected into a box, kind of like our filter where you pop the ends off and you put the new filter in it. That's exactly how this system works. So this, this new one, I've pulled the edges off of it, right? I snapped them off, put the new filter on the inside, and then put the filter back. And when you put these back, you want to make sure that when you do that work, you want to be sure that um, when you're putting it back into place that it lines up with your top being here. So here I know this is where it lines up and my drain tube is on the bottom in case any excess water comes through. But I know that this is where it comes through because the water uh, tab itself is up here. So the water comes through this system here because it's run from your water lines. It sprays down into these multiple holes, runs through your filter and any excess that's not sucked in here into your furnace is actually then drained out and through this drain tube. So again, the filter's here because if it was just sprayed into the furnace, it would rust and it'd have a bunch of problems. And you'd probably have really clogged drain lines as they were coming through. So you snap it back in, pretty simple. And then when your fan needs to be put back on, start from the top, kind of backwards. So we start from the top and then snap that base back in. And now that that snap back, whoop, there we go. Now that that snap back in, the covers back on it and it should work properly. So if you want to learn how to run your humidifier, make sure that when you do, this time of the year is just starting to get cold. This is where we have it set uh, during the spring is off right now. That use is here in the normal range. Uh, what you should do is test to make sure where yours should be. Don't just base it on where it says on the machine where to put it. Um, take a look, is there any condensation happening on your windows? Do you notice that um, if it's too low, you'll be shocking things in your house. So just play with this level a little bit. For us, we always run it right about the five level. We found that that is actually measuring correctly. And uh, just make those adjustments. And like I said, as spring comes, you start to get a little bit more humid outside. It's raining, it, the, the season's transitioning. You'll come back here and you'll take and you'll turn it to the off position. So again, this all just runs automatically. It monitors uh, all your things. And what's really great about most of these new systems is that this one is that it, uh, it tells you when to change your humidifier. So this year I came down here and it was orange and it told me to <laughs> get rid of that, hit, uh, that really clogged up filter, which uh, I just showed you guys. So anyways, here's our series on, on um, furnaces, humidifiers, and dehumidifiers. Hopefully this helps you uh, get your system ready for the winter and uh, wish you the best of luck.